Let's take a look at some of these URL data collectors at the bottom of our inputs page, otherwise known as hidden fields. So they're called hidden fields because they collect data without appearing on the form or needing the user to provide the information manually. And what do I mean by hidden field? Because we can clearly see this on our form, but what I mean is when I preview the page, it's not there. So that's why it's called a hidden field. It's just there for us to see in the editor, but it doesn't show on the live site or our editor. So there are four types. There's the current URL, UTM tags, referrer URL, and URL parameter. And let's take a look at each hidden field type and how you can use them. So let's start with the current URL. This hidden field type adds the current page URL to form submissions as a separate field, which is useful if the same form is included on multiple pages. So you might use this if a contact form is in your website's footer, which is included on every single page of your website. A hidden field for the current URL tells you which page each submission came from, even though they're from the same form. A UTM tag is a small bit of text at the end of a URL to track where your website traffic is coming from. It helps you know which links people clicked, like from an ad, email, or social media post, so that you can see what's working best. So that's what a UTM tag is, and by adding this hidden field to your form, it will collect that tag and tell you what it is. This referrer URL will collect the URL of the website that the user navigated from to get onto your site. For example, if someone clicked on a link on frameofforms.com that directs to your website, that would mean that the referrer URL is frameofforms.com. So with this type of hidden field, you can include the referrer URL in form responses. Finally, a URL parameter is a part at the end of the URL after a question mark symbol. For example, if the URL was this here, then the URL parameters are ID and type with the values of one, two, three, and house. So this hidden field type passes the value of a specific URL parameter or nothing if it doesn't exist in the page URL. So now you know what each hidden field is and why you might use it.